So today on this and that, we're gonna be removing the grill on an Nissan Titan. I'll walk you through it real quick, but as a precautionary step, I went ahead and used blue painter's tape to tape up all the painted parts of the vehicle before I removed the grill. Uh, looking at this, it just looks like there are some clips that you'll need to remove right here. Uh, there's three or four up here, I think, four. And then there are a few clips down, hidden kind of inside of the grill. There's one there, there's one there, and then there's two on the adjacent side. So, right here, and right here. Oops, sorry. So, uh, we'll remove those in this grill. I know there's a couple clips on the underneath in here that I think just kind of pop out, so we'll take a look. But that'll be the, that'll be the, uh, I know a lot of guys want to like plastic dip these things and do other things with the grill or modify them, but getting them off can be kind of a, uh, kind of a chore. Okay, so these clips here, naturally I'll want to move one way or the other. So this one looks like it wants to kind of go left and then it should kind of disengage and you should feel it kind of come out there. So that one I think is loose. All right, now that, well, these all four of these are loose. Ah, oh, there we go. Now it's kind of all out on that. But then you still have these other two to deal with on either side. So let's go ahead and back this up a little bit. Let's see what we can do about these guys down here. Okay, so once you get those six clips out, now you're down to there's some clips along the bottom that I think they just kind of fit into. Well, they just kind of have like a little slide lock in there. See what I can do to get these up. Okay, so here we are with the grill finally off. This was actually a lot more difficult than it was. Pro I mean, in my opinion, it was supposed to be. Uh, luckily, this doesn't have the camera or anything on the on the on the front of it here, uh, so there weren't any wires or anything to disconnect. And the top part went pretty easy. These clips here and these side clips weren't too bad on the side of this. But there's four clips on the bottom. One, two, three, four. Actually, six. I'm sorry. Uh, on the outer edges and then four in the middle. So you see them going here, one, two, three, four, five, and six. These two weren't so bad to get to. Um, you, all you do is you just literally get your hand under there, back in there, and you press up on the tab, and then it kind of slides out. Those outer two were fine. These four in the middle, I kind of looked at, you know, I was trying to research and figure out how to do it. Um, and you know, it's every, everyone said, Oh, you just dip your hand right down through there and, and clip these up. Well, this shroud that you can't get off makes it impossible. Plus, there's all of these shrouds here uh, to get down to that clip. I mean, it's literally physically impossible unless you're a complete stick figure. And even then, there's just not the room to do it. So what I ended up doing, and this may be helpful to you because this was, this was by far the hardest part of this, was the stupid clips on the bottom. Because I actually reached, I took this, uh, from that panel pulling set, I took this piece here, I reached my hand underneath the grill and came up to a slot. They had these slots here randomly for airflow or something uh, that would be adjacent to a uh, one where one of the clips would sit in. And I was able to get there and finesse this, this uh, panel puller piece in and touch that clip up and get these clips out kind of one by one. But I'll be honest, that I, you know, I didn't even film most of it because, I mean, it took an hour and a half just to figure out how to finally get, get to do it. So hopefully that'll save you some time, but definitely these four are a pain in the butt. So, whatever. All right, 